Question, question number five. Catherine Delahunty. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Tēnā koe te whare paramata. To the Prime Minister, does he stand by his statement that, quote, in 2010 I spelled out very clearly that we won't be going into Schedule 4 land? On behalf of the Prime Minister, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I stand by my full statement, which is, quote, in 2010, I spelled out very clearly we wouldn't be going to Schedule 4 land or oh, world order. sites. Oh, order, order. I apologise to the member. Mr. Speaker. A point of order has been called by the Right Honourable Winston Peters. If you, if you heard that question and saw what's on the uh, paper today for questions for oral answer, how do you reconcile the two? Oh, there was a very minor trans uh, transposing of words that I didn't think uh, was accidental by the member. I didn't think in any way. It, uh, it made any difference to the delivery of the question. The Minister has it on notice. Uh, I agree it wasn't word for word, but members occasionally make very slight mistakes in this House that I no, find... Mr Speaker, point of order. Point of order. This point is not a mistake, Mr Speaker. There is a pattern emerging here where people are abandoning the question before us all, on which you've all got notice, and doing as they please. The easiest way forward... Uh, because the member's obviously upset that it wasn't said exactly correctly, I'm going to ask Catherine Delahunty to restate the question. My pleasure, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister, does he stand by his statement that, quote, in 2010, I spelled out very clearly that we won't be going into Schedule 4 land? Wouldn't be going. Wouldn't. OK. Honourable, Honourable Jerry Brownlee, on behalf of the Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I stand by my full statement. In 2010, I spelled out very clearly that we wouldn't be going into Schedule 4 land or World Heritage Sites. The reason that survey work is being undertaken, as I understand it, is because there are many other benefits that may flow from the, that data collection. Supplementary. Sup supplementary question, Catherine Delahunty. Given his promise that prospecting on Schedule 4 land will not lead to mining there, why is there a mining permit currently being considered by Crown Minerals for Schedule 4 land in the Coromandel? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I think there is a difference between uh, what are effectively recreation and hobby type activities and large scale mining. Recreation and hobby type activities have been allowed on Schedule 4 land uh, since its inception. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Catherine Delahunty. Given that one company moved from a hobby mine to an exploration and now is applying to mine in Schedule 4, isn't it a reasonable conclusion that other companies will be expecting to do the same? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, they may well expect to make an application, but in this case there is no decision. Supplementary, Supplementary. question, Catherine Delahunty. Given National has made other promises it has broken, like increasing GST when John Key said he wouldn't, should we take this latest promise with a grain of salt? Honourable well, Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I just want to uh, point out that while uh, the member might like to make those allegations, it's easy for me to also uh, point out to her that during the term of the last government, there were six mining permits granted on Schedule 4 for 180 hectares of Schedule 4 land. If that's not a breach of green promise, I don't know what is. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Catherine Delahunty. To the Prime Minister, will he resign if he breaks his promise and allows mining on Schedule 4 land? <laughs> Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, I'm not an appropriate person to answer that question. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Catherine Dillon. I seek leave to table a document prepared by the Parliamentary Library which shows a mining permit, not a hobby mining permit, but a full mining permit, is being sought for Schedule 4 land in the Coromandel. Leave a sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is none. It may be tabled. Question number six, Chris Ockenbaugh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the question... At the